Hi Year 7, uh, today I'm going to play through just uh, some of the songs from your book that we're using at school so that if you're at home you've got that opportunity to have a look at how it works. Um, the first one I'm going to do is Ode to Joy. Now most of you have, pretty much all of you have already done this one, um, but just if you'd like a little refresh at home. So what you can see in front of you is I've got the camera on um, our middle C. So if you remember C is next to the two black notes. So we've got two black notes, three black notes, two, three, two. Um, now somewhere in the middle of your keyboard, that's where you'll be finding your middle C. Okay, so our first um, Ode to Joy starts on E, and don't forget we've got our five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so our third finger is going to be on E, and the Ode to Joy goes like this. So the PDF copy is on Google Classroom, so you can get access to that at home. So we're gonna start our third finger on E. E. So the first note um, at the end of the first phrase, we're holding that for two, and the same for the last note, we're holding that for two counts, okay? So that's O to Joy, which you guys have already done. I just thought you'd like to see that one. The second one I'm gonna play now is Orally in the book. Um, this is using our left hand now, so one, two, three, four, five, and our fifth finger is going to go on the low C. So here's our middle C, and we're going an octave below. Okay, so we're going to the lower C for our left hand in our bass clef. Okay, so I'm going to start, we go five and up to second finger on F. So the last note on this one, we're holding this one for four counts, being our semi free. Okay, so that's a good left hand, left hand one, um, or a lee. Uh, okay, the next one I'm going to play is uh, Rock Along. Um, this is not one of your assessed pieces, but it's just one in between, and it's a really good one for um, playing first with our right hand and then our left hand, both on C. So our thumb's gonna be on C in our right hand, and our fifth finger is going to get ready to be on C in our left hand. But we are only playing one at a time. So you'll notice the right hand plays first, then the left hand, and the left hand plays exactly the same thing. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to play is um, another left hand melody before we get to, to rock and intervals is Tisket and Tasket. You might want to have a look at that one at home. It's a nice left hand one. Again, our fifth finger is going to be based on C and our thumb is going to be on G. So we've got C, D, E, F, G. And we're starting on G, then we're stepping from there. So this is Tisket a Tasket. Okay. Um, now, rock and intervals we've spoken about in class. This is where on the music you will see that. Um, where the notes get stacked on top of each other, um, they're played together. Okay, so in our left hand, we're going to be playing the G and F together, and then we're changing to G and E together. Okay. So watch the different patterns with that left hand. And our right hand, fourth finger, is going to be starting on F. So there's our C, D, E, F. Okay, so it goes like this. So you've got the rests in there, nice little trick, and your left hand is doing that change of rocking intervals. 
The next one I'm going to play now is Jingle Bells. And this one is actually a little bit tricky if you haven't done it yet. I'm actually going to skip ahead from Jingle Bells and go to Brother John. And then we're going to come back to um, Jingle Bells. So Brother John is using a chord. And a chord is where we have the first note. We skip that one. We have the third note. And then we have a fifth note. And we play all of those at the same time. Okay, so this is, this is called a C major chord. Okay, so you'll see they're all stacked on top of each other. First note, third note, and the fifth note. And we're playing at the same time with our right hand. The chord is being played on the first beat, and the right hand has the melody. trick with this one is in, in the second line you'll see you're going five, four, three, one. we're skipping the D okay and that chord is coming on the first beat okay so if you haven't done um, Jingle Bells yet I'd do this Brother John first and then go back to Jingle Bells while we're here I'm going to play the next one it goes here the happy song which is where your chord is now played in your right hand so we'll find our chord C B and G Okay, so that's what that sounds like if you wanted to have a go at that one. All right, so now when we go back to Jingle Bells, instead of playing the whole chord, we're playing the outside, the C and the G, and you play that with your first finger, your thumb, sorry, and your fifth finger. And with your left hand, you're going to have one change where you use your fourth finger and you're stepping up to the D. And then you're also playing the D and the G separate, okay? So that's the change in your left hand. And the melody sits in our right hand. Jingle Bells goes. Now, if you haven't done that one before, you don't have to do all of it at once. You can learn first just the right hand by itself. Okay, and then you can just play the left hand by itself. Okay, and then you can, even when you're putting it together, just do one line at a time. Just do that first line a couple of times and then have a look at the second line first with your right hand then with your left hand and then trying it together okay don't have to play it together straight away all the time that's a good practice tip okay so the next one we're going to do merrily we roll along um, and that again we're using our C major chord now here you will notice there's lines joining the C major, two C major chords together, and they're called ties, which means we don't play it in the second bar. Okay, so you'll see they're joined together. It's like holding it on for extra long. The second chord that we're going to have, the top note stays the same, G, the second note changes to F, and then the last note goes down to B, which is just slightly out of that camera, but it's just the next one next to C. So if I was playing it up here, stepping one note down to the B there and that's going to be a change of chords in your left hand. So when practicing I would just practice that change as well. Okay, because that's tricky enough as it is. Okay, so then we'll practice, let's hear it, how it all goes together. Noting when I'm holding the left hand tied notes. I'm going to 
play Largo now with same idea. Okay, so you can see how I was holding that one, holding the second chord, and holding the other one. Okay, so they're the main songs that we've been doing in class that would be good to see if you could try those at home. Remember, you can try them on any keyboard you can find. You can make your own keyboard. You can find one on, on um, an iPad or an iPhone um, or any other um, probably smart device that you could download a piano app on. Um, and give those a go. Even if you're making it at home, you can make a keyboard and just show how your fingers are going to be working. And I look forward to seeing how you're being um, creative with your keyboard playing at home. Thank you, Seven. Bye.